A return to Comerica Park was all it took for the Tigers to get back in the ALCS. Miguel Cabrera drove in the go-ahead run in his home park Tuesday night and hit a towering homer to help Detroit top Texas 5-2. to two. That's why he's a great hitter, and if you've been watching, you know, he came up big tonight. If you watch baseball right now, um, it's really interesting uh, for me. Maybe not as much for you guys, but for me. If you look at the opening day in Milwaukee, fielder, Braun, big, big time, came up. You know, if you look at the second game, Pujols, big time, he came up. Tonight, Cabrera, big time, he came up. That's... That's what this is about. You know, the big boys, that's why they're the big boys. Cabrera snapped a one-all tie with an RBI double to right in the fifth inning. Then the Major League hitting leader blasted one to deep left in the seventh inning. Victor Martinez and Johnny Peralta also had solo homers for Detroit. Their offense backed the pitching of Doug Fister, who worked into the eighth inning, allowing two runs on seven hits with no walks. It was a matter of, uh, you know, really focusing on, on the pitch at hand and, and um, you know, taking it one step at a time. Um, I, I say it over and over again, but but that's how, um, you know, th- that's my kind of technique of how I get through things. Um, you know, so um, using the defense was was a key thing for me, and just focusing on on you know what, hey, um, I'm not trying to blow it by these guys. I'm not trying to get strikeouts. I'm, I'm going for contact, and you know, let's let's go deep in the game. Ian Kinsler scored for the Rangers in the first and drove in a run in the eighth inning. Detroit hung the loss on Colby Lewis, who suffered a defeat for the first time in six postseason starts. The Tigers now trail the Rangers two games to one in the best-of-seven series. Jim Militello, The Associated Press.